Good morning. So this morning we are taking Porter to get his kidney scanned when he was in Shannon's womb um, and we did like the the scans to check out all of his parts and that. He had a little bit of fluid in one of his kidneys which isn't a big risk apparently it's quite common. Um, so today we're going to go do a scan, see how he's doing, then we will probably go for lunch somewhere and then maybe we will uh, maybe we'll go for a drive, we'll see how he is. I, we need to give you an update of the house soon. I wanted to do it today but the weather's like really bad at the moment so I would rather wait for it to be sunny you can actually see like the colors of stuff how things are working and I don't have to worry about like slipping over around the back of the house where there's no drainage so we'll go see Porter this man here still half asleep he's just working good morning he's been asleep on us all morning Oi. Oh, is that annoying? Sorry. Got his knee high socks on. Green suits him like me, eh? Mm hmm. And we are going to Broadway Radiology, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, end of the world. Can't be that bad, but. No, it's okay. Hey. You're right. No, you're right. He doesn't want pants on. You don't want pants on, do you? Oh, all better. All better. He's like, I don't want that either. Oh, it's boobs. Does he? I think so. Okay, I need to go empty this thing. And this morning, uh, I went to go change him, and he first of all spewed a tiny bit. Hey, you're alright. It's alright. He spewed a tiny bit, and then instantly when I looked at the spew, he started pissing all over my arm. We just got ready to go, we're all good, and then he does a big fart and shits right through all up his back and all through his outfit. So we've got a new outfit on. What's going on mate? Why you do that to us? No one wants to clean that up. No one wanted to. Huh? We're just sitting in the nice warm car. First time in the car, like what? this, in the front seat, in, in the, the driver's, driver's seat. seat. A bottle. Got fresh kidneys, they're all good. <laughs> Look at how Hamish holds them. That's alright. Chins Ooh. out. He loves the car though, he loves looking at like all the, the like, colours, black eye, parts. like all of the yeah. different black and whites. And then if you look up, there's like rain patterns on the roof. Yeah, he's loving it. It's nice and warm. Nice and warm? What do you reckon? He's having a coffee. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Hey, how's it? So we've got some colours to pick today. This is our cedar. It's hard to see in this light, but it's got like silver staining on it. Uh, it's like a grey sort of... Oh, actually, look at the back there. Do you see what I mean? And then, so you can see the difference. Alright, it's got this like silver stain. And we're just trying to pick out the decking colours. So, grey. I just don't want too much grey on the whole house. So grey with silver. My, my fear is if this gets more silver is it going to match too much to that um, we have this material sort of color here brownie and then a lighter brown so if you were to turn this over right the back match it doesn't match but it's a bit similar to that but the reality is is that this will be the look or more slate silvery so i'm leaning towards this one or this one um i don't know i don't hate that either i don't, I don't know Still trying to decide. And we're looking at paint colours, so we're looking at doing the walls not uh, just white, but more of like a. It's hard to see in this lighting, that's not pink, but that doesn't have a pink tinge, by the way. Our media room, paint. Uh, we'll go through these in a bit more we've picked. Um, so this morning, I'm meal prepping. So I just do like chicken breast and seasoning, whole bag of beans in the steamer. And then this is the rice cooker. You see while it's working in circles and then it will come up with like eight minutes left to go. And it's just like a, if that's not good, I let out all the heat, well done. Interior wall option one, this is all resume stuff. So that, ceiling and doors, hard to see again in this light. Interior wall option two. Which I think 
Man, there's very little difference in those, but was that the one? Yeah, that was the one that I thought I liked. Interior wall option three. Media room colour. This is nice. That's locked in already. Really good. Nursery walls, which is like a green. That's locked in. So we've got locked in, locked in, and then we just got it. Oh, you can kind of see there the difference of the three shades. Dog toy. Oops. Ah. The three shades there. Can we see them? Kind of. Yeah. So I just got to pick one of those. At some stage, that will work with this the best. Because this is ceilings and doors. These are all the shade names from a zine. Uh, we'll let you know when we've picked. I just beeped saying 10 minutes remaining. And then you open it. And you are not going to do this on camera, but you fluff it and then you close it again for the end. Yep, I can't do this one sec. So it's all fluff now and we just wait for the rest of the time. So meal prep's all done. Just wash that, super easy. You've got one disher, two disher, and then you got all this for the week, which is good. Good morning. Look who's here. He's been uh, not sleeping in his bassinet by himself, so Shan and I have to hold him like this. Sometimes Shan's been here all morning while I've been at the gym. He's usually pretty good at sleeping in his bassinet during the day and overnight. Yeah, yeah. But this morning he's been fussy. It's just vaccinations. He he did pretty good, eh? Mm. He, he just got a little bit of a sore tummy. He ate the sugar syrup real good, and then he got a shot in each leg, and then cried for like eight seconds, and then on the boob. Shan put him straight on the boob, and he's all right. Mm -hmm. He hasn't flared up too much or anything like he's been pretty good just a bit fussy with a sore stomach eh? mm. but he's eating well and sleeping well mm. and this is his little swaddle that he sleeps in so we go between this and we go between like wrapping him the there's stretchy no, swaddle it's yeah. not there's not a perfect answer eh? he just decides what he wants to do we got this which is like a bin you put the nappies in and then you like rotate this and it seals it it's real good and you push it down ready for the next one this is his change table set up here next to my bed. So we've got heat pump above to keep him warm when he comes out of the shower. And then he's on this. You have to put these pads down because, man, you just don't know what's going to happen when you put him up here. Eh? I swear you lie him down and he's like, yep, let's go. Everything comes out. Um, this is what we put on his butt just to stop nappy rash. He needs these little drops um, for his nose, just saline drops to clear them up. We've got some lotion for his skin if he needs it, and then this is the current nappy brand we're using. And I think these aren't the newborn size anymore, he's gone up slightly. Really good. And we have a little bucket, so like we change them, and then we put the stuff in the bucket, and then when he's off there, off the change table so it doesn't fall off, then we put it in there. So it's been a while. So um, Shannon and I have Porter, which is awesome. He's like six weeks old now, and he's had his shots and things like that, but man, it's been rough, eh? Like, not rough, but been some late nights. I didn't expect it to be as hard as it is, and I don't even do as much as Shannon. Shannon's, you know, breastfeeding all the time. Um, it's all worth it, but when you hear people say, oh, get ready, you know, for sleepless nights, I kind of didn't expect like three hours or two hours between feeding. So you wake up, you feed him, Shannon feeds him for like half an hour to 40 minutes, and then you try and get him settled, and then you get him swaddled, and then you put him into bed, and then like you do dishes for breast, from breast pumping and all that, and by that stage it's been like two hours, and then you jump in bed, and you get to sleep, and you get like 40 minutes or an hour of sleep, and then you're back up again, and it's just like constant, eh? Like, sometimes at night, I'll say to myself, oh sweet, I want to watch a, um, a movie tonight. Porter falls asleep, and I'm like, nah, got to sleep, because I know I'm going to have to get up and help Shan at some stage during the night. I don't know how single mums do it, eh? Like, some late, late hours, it's just full on. Anyway, here's some photos of Porter. Look at these, these are so cool. This is my dad's. Who's an Aussie who came over? This is Chris, one of our mates. And here's me as a kid. What the heck am I up to? I think of him pretending to smoke in my like someone's clothes. Shannon's go-to in the morning 
has been a coffee so she has like you put some of this in the bottom ice and this New Zealand oat milk brand is real good you should try it if you haven't boring oat milk and they've actually come up with a sustainable packaging solution you rip the outside film off and then you recycle the actual bottle which is awesome this is my New Zealand this is the barista one you can get them off their website and it is so nice to have with a coffee I want to show you guys this this is so cool I got um, Porto a little jukebox so normally you would get like a traditional jukebox with like one song right wooden whatever with a little turn handle but I didn't want to do that. Instead, I got a little speaker like this, which is portable, can go wherever. And in this actual speaker, you don't have to have it hooked up to Spotify. You can have a little SD card in there. Do you see that? Or a USB stick. Um, so it means that I don't have to have my Spotify linked up all the time. As a kid, I played a lot of these sort of games here. They're all um, video games of like RPGs and like there's Pokemon and Zelda and all of this um, jukebox music. And so I went and bought on Bandcamp, I think this is called Look Up Video Game Music Box on Bandcamp. And I bought lots of these that, lots of these songs that like, you know, have melodies and aren't just simple nursery rhymes. For example, like Kingdom Hearts was one you might know that game and then I put all of the ones I liked onto a SD card for him so he can have a little jukebox wherever he goes and you've got volume button you push that to go next song back a song but there's lots of songs I put on for him from this these albums that are just I think it's cool so I bought that and made that for him if you're gonna do this for what someone you know just want to show you with this in order to get it to work properly turn that on first oh. and then unfortunately you can't choose a mode you have to like take the SD card out and then push the SD card music out, mode and then it'll go to that I couldn't figure out how to get it to work That was cool. I enjoyed buying that for him and making that for him. Look who's just woken up. Haven't been feeling good, have you, mate? He's been sleeping for like four hours on me. So, I just got some milk out of the fridge. Some milk out of the fridge here. I know. Oh gosh, no, it's coming. Let me just heat that up. Oh, he's going to crack it. No, it's alright. Okay. You're alright. You're okay. You're okay. You're alright. He just doesn't like waiting for it. Do you say hi? Do you say hello? No. Flared nostrils. Hmm? He's hungry. Alright. Oh, he's awoken. So he's enjoying this now. He's pretty keen on it. Look, he's mm. going for it. That was 90 mils. That was a big nap. And then sometimes you just... Here he is. Yum. Uh. What do you think? <laughs> what do you reckon? Let's see if he does this thing where he licks his lips. Or not. He's still here. Yeah, little he, lick. Is he going to do it? No. Oh, very tired baby. Mmm, yummy. And then he goes at it. But he's pretty good when he feeds. He's been asleep on me all morning and then asleep on Hamish all morning and I just pumped, so we yeah. did a little bottle here. Hamish like, Listen. oh god, that was his tummy. No, no that's his nap. That's his nap. <laughs> good. Nice. So normally when he's relaxed, he'll finally go to the button. Look, yeah. what are you looking at? <laughs> he's like, don't hey. talk about that on camera. Oh. Hey, little honey bun. A little bit more? Let's go. Yummy. Good boy. But yeah, we like to, well, I pump as well because otherwise I get really engorged. What and is, that, that, like my boobs get huge and full of milk and painful. Yeah. So it's good though because it means that Hamish can also help feed him occasionally. Every now and then, uh, it's just. Yeah, he usually has a bottle or so a day. Big stretch. <laughs> can you show them we, fall, we like come out here under the heat pump up there and then just sit him on the couch down here so it's nice and warm. Hey! 
And then you still don't realise how lucky you are. <laughs> Shannon's setting up all his new room for the new house. Yeah, it's, look, it's gonna look so good. Which is cool. The paint looks really good, that draws in. How's that? Jeez. Look, he must could do more. We'll see. Oh. Go on then. Get it out. These little <laughs> things are from Bub and Bear. We really like them. Yeah. He's got one with bees on it. And what? Oh, yes, you do. All oh, right. Let's <laughs> go there. Hungry baby. Man. This is a big one. That was 90 mil. Yeah. Like I said, because usually, like, if he's having a bottle, it's usually when he's clustering when I'm exhausted. So, like, I've already given him a lot of my boobs. Yeah. And then you give him a bottle and it's just, like, a little bit less. Whereas this time, this is just straight bottle. This probably will be enough, though. By the time he's finished, it'll be good. Mm -hmm. So, he's Listen getting... He does this. Hey guys, we're at work and our ABI stuff arrived. We bought like all of our fixtures pretty much from ABI because I've always loved their page. Before we even like began planning our build, I always followed them on like Pinterest and followed their Instagram posts. I think I followed them on Facebook originally. But anyway, they have like the coolest inspo pictures and I used a lot of them when I was like creating my mood boards and stuff for our new build. So naturally that's where I went to get my fixtures and stuff like taps and sinks and stuff like that, like a lot of them. I'll obviously show you how they all look once we actually like are finished or like once we're installing them in the house the plumber is actually installing some of the back end stuff at the moment and this all arrived just in time so yeah it's gonna start getting installed pretty soon really but i just thought i would show you and do like an unboxing on here i'm doing an unboxing on my instagram stories but you know i have barely vlogged so i thought this would be fun too i'll link them down below if you're interested they're an australian brand and i've heard amazing things from people that have like bought off there in the past so yeah you can see we've got like heaps of our stuff that's arrived fridge that's a fridge eh i mean surely it's a huge ass box that's so taller got, than hamish uh, this one fisher and pipe i think fridge got a washer, washer dryer, got a dryer got a waste disposal got all of these abi Ooh. that sinks yeah sinks lola basin sink and we went for matte, matte white we like matte quite a lot yeah and then we got this here which is a Fisher & Paykel cooker, it's an induction. Oh that's right, So induction, it's got four induction, hop. and then off to the side, it doesn't show it here, but it's got a gas hob, mm -hmm. so that you get both. But gas may be phased out in 2050, so that's why we kind of did this. How old am I going to be in 2050? We're going to be old girl, I wouldn't even think about it. And then that is your dish drawers. Like 60? We'll be old. I don't know, I'm bad at maths. Um, and then I'm in my slippers. We've got an oven. We've got the oven. I haven't seen this one, eh? Because we picked a different one and then yeah. our interior designers like, actually, this one's good and it's the same rain and get this more light sweet. Yeah, this is it. And then there's the three toilets. Yeah. That, yeah. They're just soft matte white. Matte white. Matte white toilets. Uh, and rimless. If yeah. you're looking for toilets, think about getting rimless. Easy to clean on the inside. Yeah. Um, was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I think we took you guys shopping, didn't we? For our, I think I called it adult shopping, the vlog, if you wanna go back and watch it, where we went and picked heaps of our appliances. But yeah, I haven't showed you this ABI stuff, so we're gonna show you that today. Cause I think, I don't know, I find that stuff the most fun to be honest, like all the taps and sinks and like, just all that kind of thing. And then I also find lighting fun, but I'll show you that once it's installed. So yeah. Oh, these are all of the um, towel heater rails. Mm -hmm. By the way, Porter is safely asleep in his Nuna carry down here, having a great old nap. <laughs> so here is the Lola basin. We're just opening this first. This is how it came packaged. It's got a nice little, you know, thing to keep it nice and clean and safe. I've got the table here, so you <laughs> can see it better. Here we go. Ooh, it looks oh so nice. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Oh, it's bigger than I thought too, which I love. I don't know why I thought it would be a little bit smaller and taller, but I love oh, right. that. That's nice. Yeah, that's way better. Oh, it sounds heavy. It is. It looks so nice away. It does. Oh, I love it. So that's her first item. Yep, so we've got them in our... That? Yeah, Lola. 
base and sink matte white. Um, we've got this in our ensuite, which is two sinks. We've got a his and hers, and then we've got it in our powder room and our downstairs bathroom. Um, and then our toilets should hopefully match that finish. Oh, there you go. That's one of the spouts. mounted spouts. I think that's for the powder room. Gunmetal. Gun so we went for gunmetal for our taps in our house because we've got a lot of black, um, white, concrete tones. And I didn't want to do black sink, I mean black taps, because we thought maybe they'd like date a little bit quicker. But we didn't want to do like silver, that standard that we've already got in our current house. So this is really nice. I like the shine. I didn't want to do matte because apparently it's harder to keep looking nice. So I love that. What's the actual finish called on their website? It's called Brushed mm. Gunmetal. Yeah, there you go. Now we also have the um, Brush Gunmetal Minimal Handle Elysian one which is the same colour and that's what that one looks like it's just like a twisty one with hot and cold love that nice and easy to use too if you've like got something in your hands already or whatever you can just kind of like flick it <laughs> it's not like a turning one you know this is the Vada toilet roll holder B-A-A-D-A -A -A, I think oh I love this this is similar oh my god how do I get it out similar shape to our handles we're doing on our actual doors I absolutely love that shape. A lot of the, um, like, you know, the handles on our kitchen and stuff like that are all very squared. And like I said, our doors in our house are very squared. And the ones on our doors, like the actual doors themselves throughout the house are black. But I think it would be a nice contrast between, like, the gunmetal and the black. Like, imagine, like, that's black, that's gunmetal, you know? Love. And then this is the same range again, but for the hand towel. So, like, in the powder rooms and bathrooms and stuff for your hand towel to go on. Just a longer version. Oh, I just love all of these shapes so much. I think they're gonna look real good. And then we have our heated towel rails and brushed gun metal. We've got three of these. We're gonna like stack them. So that'll be really cool to show you how that looks once it's installed. I think it'll look really effective. By the way, also our designer Nicola Ross helped us pick everything. Um, based off of like my mood boards and everything, she put together heaps of stuff and put together lots of like finished images and like went through everything helped us pick finals and stuff so yeah we know it's gonna look good because she helped us like collate it together i guess yes so like this one what is this okay this is like one of the most exciting so elysian commercial kitchen mixer <laughs> oh she's beautiful and look it's got one of the um, it's really hard to do with one hand, but it's got the mixer that pulls out so you can like squirt all the corners and clean stuff really easily. Love. Stunning. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. That's the dumper from the top. Yep. Look at that colour. That's just so nice. Love it. And the kitchen mixer's up in here. Oh my god. Oh! Love, yeah. love, love, love. And then we've got more kitchen parts. Normal kind of shower head. Where's the little, there it is. There's the spout that goes on it, on the hose obviously. So yeah, those taps are going in ev like everywhere. So that's cool. Um, they're wall mounted ones, I think. Yep. That makes sense. So yeah, we'll go above the sinks. And that'll go in the powder room, downstairs bathroom, downstairs bathroom. Um, we've just got one of these for the kitchen. We've got six tower rails because we're doing three upstairs, three downstairs. We've got like multiple of the little toilet roll holders, of course. And then for the shower, we've got two in our shower. So like a his and hers. And then one in the downstairs. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I hope you guys like what we picked out. Let me know what you think. They've actually got so many different colors, but I just wanted something timeless. Um, they've also got like gold, copper, um, they've got like some really cool like white, green, like limited edition colours. I loved the green, but it's just something that I'm too scared to do in my own home. So if one of you guys does it, please send me photos. Um, yeah, they do heaps of limited editions with like really cool colours, really out of it, different, like different things. So yeah, they've also got like the classic silver, um, black, matte black, shiny black, I'm pretty sure. Heaps of different ones. So yeah, pretty stoked actually. What's the other thing? It's a Vader Rogue hook. Ah. Oh. Yeah, if that'll be the towel hooks. Yeah, it's small, but I'm just wondering where they... Is that uh, it there? Huh? 
No, that's a mixer. Vader hand towel holder. That tongue, Maybe it? that's that. Towel holder. That, that looks big though, eh? No, that's a big one. No, that's the... It's like a little dot. Do you see that? Oh, little? yeah. Uh, so it should be in a small box. What a... No. Maybe in the corner of that box? Yeah, this is a Vader Road hook. Cool. Nice. Cute. And a little towel holder. Yeah, well, like for your robes or whatever you want to use it for. Cute. Everything looks so nice together. These I think I covered it all. Amazing. I'm so glad we got the dumpers and the, you know, you can also take the hand. Yeah, it's like two in one because I prefer like normal ones. Then some people prefer the dumpers, you know. Comes with that, obviously. But yeah, it comes with all the bits. There's heaps more parts than what we're showing because it's all the back end stuff too, but that's like the front facing, you know. Pretty and stuff. This and I'll show that. Yeah, I showed them. Yeah. yeah. And once again, I like how you can use that. Like, if you've got soap on your hands, you can like flick it with your wrist and turn it on. I love that because yeah. I hate the ones that you have to like, you know, that, physically turn. That's all the thing about door handles. When they're circular, you can't just like use your arm or something. Yeah, you like if you've got groceries. Yeah. But if you have like a handle, any door, any sort of mixer tap, yeah. easily can use them. Yeah. Obsessed. Love it all. Can't wait to show you guys how it looks when it starts getting installed. I will do a house update soon too we've got a bit more cladding up and our jib is due to arrive in just under a month now fingers crossed it's not delayed again